Hi beautiful family and welcome to this video. Today I have a very messy hair day but, but that's not why we are here today or why you're here today. I'm here to review two products. One is that actually TikTok made me buy is this lipstick. This is the new Shine Loud Word Shaper um, lipstick, matte lipstick with a lip gloss and this You've seen it everywhere probably. It's going to stay on the whole day and look amazing on the lips. And I'm all about that. But I'm also here to review the, or try the Scott, Scott Bear blush palette. It came in this nice packaging. And this is how the palette packaging looks like. I mean, nothing special. It's what's in here, just a cardboard. It feels very nice, feels very heavy. And let me show you, looks really pretty inside. I haven't even swatched it. Now, I wanted this palette since I see, saw it first time it launched, but it always was out of stock and I couldn't get my hands on it. But when I saw on Instagram that it was back in stock, I immediately went and bought it. And I'm very, very excited about that. I've been using um, this palette for a couple of weeks now from Luna Beauty Moon Print Palette and it's one of the best blush palettes out there. Now, let me just say, it's not like I really need new blushes, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't resist this and um, let's take off this plastic and I really, really want to try. I'm really curious about this orange and the pink one. It looks stunning. So. I'm going to apply the lipstick, I'm going to apply the blush and we'll see how it's going to wear. So I know it's a little bit late for me to review actually lipstick, but I am going to wear it all day. It took me a while, I was cleaning my house and it took me a while to play with makeup and then I realized, well, I want to just try this, but it doesn't really go with the, my eyes today. But Let's just go for it anyways. I should have thought about this, my makeup, instead of just playing with makeup, but I really forgot what shade I ordered and I was really into this purpley, goldy shade today. So I wanted to create this makeup look, but unfortunately it doesn't match the lipstick. But I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay home. So it's not like, you know, somebody's going to see it. Now, I've seen this on TikTok everywhere. Now, I had this on my wish list that I sent to my friend Valerie, and I don't know if she got this for me, but I really wanted to try it, and I've ordered it a long time ago. And I ordered one shade, I ordered this really bright shade because I wanted to experiment, I wanted to play more with the shade. So let's go in. Ooh, it's thick. Now I'm going to go into the gloss. Okay, so it I can feel it definitely on my lips. Uh, I had to apply a lot of it because this color was a little bit patchy, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable on the lips. So let's and uh, try to kiss my hand. No, no transfer. So that's good. Okay, so it's four and I've been having it on for maybe two, three minutes. So I'll continue go with my day and see how this is going to wear. Now, let's go to the blush palette. I really want to swatch all of the shades. So I'm going to swatch the first row up here. So, I don't know how to hold it so you see it. Let's go to this shimmery shade that it's called Show, Showy. Let's go to this one. This is called Min, uh, Minimalist. 
this is mango fizz and striker rose they feel very soft very soft oh that's a very nice color that's nice that's nice. these two look similar on the camera but actually then uh, this one looks to be slightly darker than this one but looks very nice okay let's clean my fingers and go to the next road let's go to uh, nothing can do you see it let's go to this one this is glowy and then sweet cheeks this is very soft pressed uh, rose and crush and crush it crush and blush very interesting name so let's oh they are very very nice this is all the shades very pretty palette very pretty palette if you want to see me swatching uh, the moon prince palette next to this one or compare it with the BH Cosmetics one let me know down below I will definitely to do so because I'm kind of curious myself but I am going to try this on my cheeks today and because we're not matchy matchy so we're not going to match the blush either so the, for the blush palette I think I'm going to go in with Morphe and Jaclyn Hill and I really want to go in with this Let's go with the mango fizz. No, let's go with this pink shade rose. The rose shade is a very pink shade. Ooh, that picks up a lot of product. Ooh. That picks up a lot of product. But oh my god, look how it blends. Did you see that? Just blends into the skin like nothing. Oh, I like that. Very pigmented, but very easy to blend. I want to go in with the uh, even uh, minimalist this shade here. It, the brush picks up a lot of, and I just tapped into it very soft, and it. Kind of picks up a lot of product. It's stunning. I have to say, this is really pretty. And I seen him mixing this together, and I really want to experiment with this blush palette a little bit more because I love blush blushes, and I really go hard in uh, my pants, and I use a lot of blush because I like that look. I know some people don't like the blush; they don't like like it they don't like the look where you can see that you wear the blush but I do that I kind of prefer that I really want to go into this shimmery shade the first one the lighter shade and uh, place oh that's so beautiful that's really beautiful I love this palette I love it really like it i also really like the moon prince palette that one is also very nice it's just that palette is a little bit more hard pressed but i'm definitely going to swatch these two next to each other uh, i'm not going to make this video too long but i'm i just wanted to try these two products i couldn't wait anymore i know it's late i know i should probably have thought about my makeup look a little bit more but when I feel excited to film something and I just want to sit down and film, I will do that immediately because then it looks natural. I like this look. I'm going to wear it the rest of the day. I want to eat, I'm going to eat, I'm going to drink, I'm going to put this lipstick to the test. I really like this shade though. It's nothing that I first thought it would scare me off a little bit because it looked a little bit more pink in tube than it does on my lips. It looks more red. So I thought it would scare me off a little bit and I thought it was a little bit unusual color because these come in a really unusual shades. Um, but I've seen the hype, I've seen people talking about it and I don't know if my friend Valerie, Valerie will get some of these uh, in the box swap. If not, 
I'll definitely purchase more neutral shades when they get in stock because they are sold out everywhere here in Sweden. But um, I really, I just wanted to try it. I couldn't wait, I wanted to try it and I, it's been a long time since I purchased this one so it took it a while to arrive but I'm kind of excited to try it today. And I'm going to wear this rest of the day, I'm going to try it out and I'll uh, come at the end of the day and tell you how I feel. The palette that I have on my eyes is actually, is Beauté, this gorgeous palette, uh, flare palette. I have these, these shades on my eyes today. So if you wonder what's on my eyes, uh, yeah, see you soon. Hi my family, welcome back. Okay, I've been laying down and my hair looks like a mess, but let's just don't, let's just look at the lipstick for the first. It's almost 10 p.m. and I'll be eating, drinking, talking, you know, licking, doing like this, licking the lips and I could feel the, you know when the lipstick dries and you can feel it on the lips, you know, kind of parts of it. I could feel it here and it's went off in the center. Um, when I don't talk, it looks okay. It looks dry and I've seen that cracking, but it doesn't really bother me a lot. Uh, I still think it looks okay, not the best after many, many hours. And the blush though. That looks stunning. The blush looks really stunning. I really am happy that I have this palette in my collection and I think it's beautiful, it's stunning, it's something something interesting, something that kind of makes me happy. I also really like this so I have plenty of blushes, plenty of blushes. Let's just compare these two. I really really want to compare. They are not are all the same shades. There you go. Um, but I'm going to swatch them in another video and compare. Uh, there is maybe, no, maybe one or two shades kind of similar, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see that. Uh, I'm going to kiss my hand again and you can't really see there is just one part of the lipstick over here. I want to start, try to reapply it on my lips and just see how that will go because if I was at work right now uh, after something as my scale transformed I would like to apply reapply because it doesn't really look flattering. So it kind of went, went okay to re reapply it. I don't know. I've seen different videos where people review this and the second time they reapply it, it, most of the times it does smudge or transfers. It's not the same, uh, you know, pink shade or matte. Not matte, but it's not the same kind of dry formula. I don't know why, maybe because you apply it on top of a lipstick. I have no idea, but I'll see now. See? Nothing on my hand, I just, yeah, it transformed a little bit. But it doesn't look uh, bad on the lips, so I will definitely use this again and reapply it and make it, you know. I really like this color, I do really, really like this color, uh, more than I thought that I would. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting formula, kind of interesting formula. I know there are similar products out there that I, I haven't tried actually, so if you, no a uh, similar lipstick to this let me know down below but um guys thank you for watching Ooh, i happy i have the palette and i also really like the lipstick and um, it feels very comfortable i thought that i it will feel a little bit heavy but it really felt comfortable which is kind of a big plus um, because it's long wearing usually that will dry my lips and dry me crazy but this haven't done that uh, I could feel it on my lips but it still wasn't too um, it wasn't bothering me it wasn't something that I you know wanted to take off my lashes are kind of 
bothering me today a little bit I kind of tired and I really want to remove them so I'm going to end this video here guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video I love you all bye